Good morning and welcome to the 29th annual exhibit of hydrogen and fuel sec sec technologies here at the Hanover Fair. Uh, we've been here since 1995 discussing things. We've grown and we've grown largely due to the uh, people involved in the industry. They bring their expertise. Uh, some of the expertise are hidden in devices. You never get to hear about them until you talk to the people who actually have expertise that also are outside of the fuel cell industry. To give you one example, when we're talking about coding services for bipolar plates for fuel cells and electrolyzers, there's a lot of material science involved. Uh, next up on the stage is Dr. Herbert Gabriel, MD, who is in the department of PVT plasma and vacuum technic. Welcome with me, uh, Dr. Gabriel. So, Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Uh, sorry to keep you away from lunch, but I will give you something to digest. And if you fall asleep, then do me a favor, come later to our booth, E40, and then we give you a full infusion. Um, talking about coding services uh, for electrolyzers or for bipolar plates for electrolyzers and fuel cells. The, in a project like this, a number of people are involved, and I want to mention particularly two companies. This is Nano for Energy, which is a technology partner, as well as EVM, also a technology partner. And then, of course, we have lots of input from our uh, Chinese colleagues uh, who, you know, I clearly have to say, to say China is in this market a driving force. And we are here in Europe too slow. Therefore, we have decided to go into a coating service for bipolar plates because all the large companies, they are just not investing into this. They are all waiting for a business case. Now, before I start to say what we are going to do, I would like to say a few words about our company. Our headquarter is in Bensheim. This is south of Frankfurt, and we are founded about uh, uh, 40 years ago or something like this, in 1985, so quite a long time. Where are we coming from, and what are we doing? The scope of our business is developing coding processes, vacuum coding processes. Ion-assisted vacuum coating processes. We are designing and developing these processes. We are using these processes to make coatings, to design coatings, to design coating structures. And of course, at the end of the, this, uh, we, do coat, we design coating systems. And then we assemble the coating systems and we deliver it to our customers. We also provide turnkey solutions, you know, because there is pre and post treatment and things like that. And in bracket, coating service. In bracket, coating service, yes, you will find out uh, pretty soon because we are coming basically from the field of cutting tools. Yes, and there you cannot earn money with coating service anymore, at least not in Europe. Yeah? Um, so we have decided to, to change a little bit, you know, and for the change, it is necessary that you have variety of coding processes in your portfolio to do the right coatings. So we are using, as you can see, for example, arc evaporation or high PIMS or high PIMS V+. These are the processes we are using to deposit coatings on bipolar plates to provide certain uh, properties. Uh, we, for the coatings of cutting tools, which where we are coming from and which we have done the last 40 years, basically, we have designed a number of equipment. You know, these are all batch type equipment. Uh, these are small chambers, you know, but we are also doing very, very large chambers. These are, uh, these are chambers where we can coat two tons, uh, three meter long. Where are these systems? We made it in Germany. We delivered into China because there the business is really striving and the people make decisions and they go forward. So uh, we have delivered the first system about seven years ago. Now the customer has ordered another system and this is now in operation. Uh, now I come to the bipolar plates, you know, because this is a new field for us, but when I say new field, we are in this field for the last seven years. 
And I have not to say anything about the function, but what is important is the requirements, the requirements which, which are basically defined by the DOE, the de uh, Department of Energy in the US, you know, where speci specifically two properties are, uh, you know, specified. This is the ICR, that means the resistivity. We have to have a high conductivity, we have to have a low resistivity, and what we have to have is also a very high corrosion resistance, yes? The other thing is lifetime of such products. The lifetime, 10,000 hours minimum, but we have requests for 20, 30, and 50,000 hours. And when I'm talking about 50,000 hours, then I'm talking certainly about electrolyzers. Now, such conditions can only, or such properties can only be fulfilled by coatings, and we make very complex coating structures in the range of five nanometers up to two microns. And these are all multi-layer structures. Now, what kind of processes are we using? Highly ionized processes, arc evaporation, magnetron sputtering, high PIMS. And what kind of coatings are applied for these applications. Gold, very expensive. Metal nitrides plus noble metal. Not yet, not that expensive. But when I say noble metals, we are talking about platinum, we are talking about iridium, and we are even also talking about gold, again. you know. But these are all very, very thin coatings. And then we are talking about certainly the cheapest material, DLC. DLC is uh, how, how should I say, is not l as long known for this application as the other coatings, but it is a factor in this field. And then, you know, we are also offering other coatings which are determined by the customers. Yes, that means customers are coming to us and say, we want to have this coating structure done, can you do this? Or we give recommend recommendations to customers who uh, uh, say, okay, we have this problem. Can you give us, based on your recommendation, a coating structure or some recommendations, you know, how to build up a coating, and can you then do this? Uh, for doing this in mass production, we have designed two pieces of equipment. These are equipment where you basically feed in the parts on one side, you run it through, several deposition chambers, and you run it out on the other side. And the, <coughs> the uh, uh, numbers we can do in such systems are, or the sizes, what we can do in such system is, for example, a smaller system, a three-chamber system, we have a frame of uh, 1.8 meter and uh, length and one meter height. And in the uh, bigger system, we have a frame of 3.5 meter uh, length and 1.5 meter height. And with these uh, sizes of the frames where we put the bipolar plates on or the electroplates on, we can do uh, certain numbers. For example, in the small system, 2 million parts per year. Uh, I would say 500, million, uh, 500 millimeters long, 130 millimeters wide is a typical size. And in the bigger system, we can do 5 million parts per year. We have, for this application, basically designed the systems in two different ways. We can coat stationary, that means uh, we put the parts in and they stand there and they are coated, or we can move the parts back and forth, back and forth, and can do multi-layer structures on the nano basis. Uh, again, the system, the larger system, you know, we have this frame, I told you, 3.5 meter long, 1.5 meter high. We can put uh, 69 of these uh, bipolar plates on uh, a frame, and we coat this every six minutes such a frame is leaving. Uh, the coating thickness is typically in the range of uh, 200 
nanometers to one micron, and we can do approximately five million parts per year. Here you see now the reality. You know, we have built such system. Uh, I go just quickly through complex system, but fully automatic, yes, fully automatic, and uh, we are able to coat plates down to 0.7 euros of the size I mentioned, 500 by 150 millimeters. Uh, now I come to what we are going to do and what we are offering you. We are currently building a system, a three-chamber system, where we can do, on the basis of an inline system, where we can do millions of parts for the industry on the basis that basically the uh, companies are hiring us for doing their coatings, either their specific coatings or our coatings. This is a three-chamber system, and I have here a layout where you can see that on this side here, the frames are moved in, they go in the first chamber where it's pumped down, then they go in the coating chamber, which is, goes from here to here, here we have the deposition devices, and now we can do either in a single pass, when it's a very thin coating, just uh, 100 or 200 nanometers, or we can also do multiple passes, yes, where we can build up real structures of the coating, depending on the application. And at the end, you know, the uh, frames are leaving the chamber, the chambers are vented, they go out. How much time do I still have? Okay, a couple of minutes. Um, here you can see a cross section basically through the chamber, you know, uh, where you see the frame. The frame is waiting here. Here are the sources where the material is deposited from, and the frame goes through, goes in this position, and now I can do it in a single pass, and the coating is done or when it's a thicker coating, I can move back and forth and back and forth so that I can really build up a structure. Now, what kind of products can we coat? Where do we have, what is our experience? Our experience is uh, with the PMFC, it's with the PMWE, with the alkaline electrolyzers, also with the solid oxide fuel cells, and question marks. We are waiting for your, uh, how do you say, questions or for your requests, what we should develop. And uh, my partner, Dr. Fernandez from Nano for Energy, we have two cooperating partners, I mentioned it at the beginning, is sitting in the audience, you know, he is just waiting for your complex uh, requests concerning properties and coatings. Uh, now, what kind of coatings are we doing? We are doing, on the PMFC, we do carbon coatings. We do metal nitrides and noble metal. And just be aware, we do all these coatings, you see on the right-hand side, in one and the same system. It is not need necessary when you do a certain coating, yes, or when you have a certain application, you do a coating and then something else is newly developed, and then, oh, how do I do it? Can I do it in my system? Yes, you can do, because the system is this versatile. Now, on the uh, electrolyzers, on the anode side, we do, and we do not talk about this coating um, very much, but it's an anti-corrosion coating with platinum or iridium or a conductive metal oxide. On the PTL, we do platinum, and on the cathode side, we can do carbon. That means we can coat an electrolyzer plate on one side at the same time with the anti-corrosion coating and the platinum and the iridium, and on the other side, we coat it with a carbon coating. And then we come to the alkaline electrolyzers. We do nickel-based, and on the PTL, we do uh, uh, nickel and nickel iron. And last but not least, on the SOFCs, that means the solid oxide fuel cells, we do manganese, cobalt oxides, etc. So, time, we are currently building this system. 
it is, we, since we have built already, we know it works. We build it now for service, basically. It will be ready for service from October onwards. We will probably do all the coatings. We currently have about 15 different coatings. We are testing these coatings uh, in November and December. And we have already orders beginning of January. So please, if you want to have any kind of coding service from us, hurry up and sign. Uh, you can talk to us on Boost uh, E40. And thank you for attention. And now you can, oh, I guess there's still one, one talk before you can go to uh, lunch. Thank you very much.